We now solve this trigonometric equation that is 9 times of cos of 2 beta equals 9 cos squared beta minus 1 where beta uh, is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi. So first uh, I am going to replace this cos of 2 beta using a double angle identity. We know that the double angle identity cos of 2x this equals uh, 2 cos squared x minus 1. So in this expression, I'm going to replace x by 2 uh, beta. So therefore, this becomes cos of 2 beta equals uh, 2 cos squared beta minus 1, which means uh, we can use this expression. That is, uh, we can replace cos of 2 beta as uh, 2 cos squared beta minus 1 uh, into this uh, trigonometric equation. So therefore, this becomes 9 times of uh, 2 cos squared beta minus 1 and on the right side we have 9 times of cos squared beta minus 1. Let's uh, distribute this 9 into the two terms inside the brackets. When we do that we get 9 times of 2 cos squared beta is uh, 18 cos squared beta minus 9 times of 1 is 9 and this equals uh, 9 cos squared beta minus 1. We will simplify this by uh, subtracting 9 cos squared beta from both sides and then adding 9 on both sides. So when we do that 18 cos squared beta minus 9 cos squared beta we will have uh, 9 cos squared beta and negative 9. So we can say that this equals uh, positive 9. When 9 comes over to the side it becomes positive 9 minus 1 equals 8. So basically this is the equation we can solve for uh, beta from this equation. So we will have uh, cos squared beta equals uh, 8 over 9 when we divide by 9 on both sides. Now we have to take the square root on both sides. So we get uh, cos beta equals uh, square root of uh, 8 over 9. This is uh, plus or minus square root. So we do that we can write down this as uh, plus or minus 2 root 2 over 3 because the square root of 8 is uh, 2 root 2 and square root of 9 is 3. We can uh, use the calculator to determine the values of beta. So we have uh, uh, two equations that is the uh, cos of beta equals uh, 2 root 2 over 3. This is one equation and another equation is cos of beta equals uh, negative of 2 root 2 over 3. So let's consider this uh, case that is cos beta equal to positive 2 root 2 over 3. So therefore we can in, uh, find the value of beta equals cos inverse of 2 root 2 over 3. Uh, we plug this value into the calculator and uh, make sure that uh, we have to put it in uh, radian mode when we determine the cos inverse of 2 root 2 over 3. So basically we can first find the reference angle for beta. This will be helpful to determine all the solutions of the trigonometric equation. So the reference angle uh, that is beta equals when we plug this into the calculator we get the reference angle as 0.34 and this is in radians. So we will use this reference angle to determine the all solutions. Uh, when we use the quadrant information we know that uh, cos is positive in the first quadrant as well as in the fourth quadrant. So we have determined that the reference angle is 0.34. So when the cos is positive in the fourth quadrant, uh, beta can also be 2 pi minus of uh, 0.34 radians. And this gives uh, 2 pi minus 0.34 equals uh, 5.94 radians. So for this uh, equation that is when cos beta equals 2 root 2 over 3 uh, we get uh, two values that is beta equals uh, 0.34 radians as well as beta equals uh, 5.94 radians. Now let's utilize this uh, another equation that is uh, cos of beta equals negative 2 root 2 over 3. And once again here also we find the reference angle. Uh, since we have already found the reference angle using this information, we know that uh, 
that uh, cos beta is negative. Cos beta is negative in uh, second quadrant as well as in uh, third quadrant. So when cos beta is negative in second quadrant, we say that uh, beta equals pi minus of the reference angle. So therefore this becomes uh, beta equals pi minus of, we use the reference angle which is 0 0.34 radians and uh, this equals 2.80 radians. And similarly, when uh, cos beta is negative in the third quadrant, uh, it will be beta equals pi plus the reference angle. So therefore, this becomes pi equals pi plus uh, the reference angle is uh, 0.34. And we replace the value of pi as 3.14. Therefore, it becomes uh, 3.48 radians. So, the final solutions of beta equal to, we have uh, 0.34 radians, comma, the second value is 5.94 radians, and uh, third value is 2.80 radians. And finally, we have the fourth value that is uh, 3.48 radians. Remember that all these values are in radians. So 0.34 radians and this also 0.94 is also radians. 2.80 is uh, radians and 3.48 is also radians. So these are the final solutions of beta.